In the beginning, humans carved away stone for shelter. Eventually, they built, and some of their structures were created for spiritual purposes. Around the 26th century BC, three pyramids at Giza in Egypt were built as a sacred burial place for three pharaohs. The pyramids were made from two and a half ton limestone blocks. In about the same period, Stonehenge in Wiltshire, England was constructed. It's not as grand as the pyramids, but it was a harbinger of one of the most influential building advances known to man, called trabeation, or post and lintel construction. In the beginning, these structures were as crude as one stone supporting another. But eventually, civilizations like those of ancient India or Egypt created freestanding columns with beams. This construction configuration would change the world. About 2,000 years after the pyramids were built in Egypt, the Greeks were constructing temples on a large rock outcropping in Athens we now call the Acropolis. One of those buildings was the Parthenon, and inside stood a 40-foot tall sculpture of the goddess Athena. Although the Parthenon isn't the first structure of its kind, it could be viewed as a historic architectural amalgam, and thus symbolic beginning to form and detail in architecture. The structure employs trabeation, a readily applied strategy by civilization henceforth to create openings and open space in buildings. The triangular pediment is a harbinger of the ubiquitous gable roof. The entablature and pediment feature details that will later become synonymous with moldings like the crown, copied far and wide. The building also uses the Doric Column, a precursor to the Roman order and part of the five classical orders of architecture, replicated the world over. The five classical Roman orders were based on the Greeks' original three. The Roman architect Vitruvius wrote about them in the Ten Books on Architecture, around 15 BC. They are the Tuscan, Doric, Ionic, Corinthian, and Composite. The Tuscan order was developed by the Romans and based on the Doric. It's the most uncomplicated of the five. The Doric order is one of the three original Greek orders. The Greek Doric column is unique because it does not have a base, while the Roman Doric does. The Roman Doric order is slightly more decorative than the Tuscan. The Ionic column features the volute, or spiraling capital. The Corinthian column was the last of the three classical orders to be developed by the Greeks. The composite order is the last of the five classical Roman orders. The capital is unique because it combines the volutes of the Ionic order and the acanthus leaves of the Corinthian.